Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Abby. I'm Jeffrey Lynn. I'm Colleen. I'm Alexandra. And I'm a freshman at Manhasset High School. And I'm a freshman at Manhasset. And I'm a freshman at Manhasset High School. Yeah, and I'm a freshman at Manhasset High School. Freshman at Manhasset High School. And I'm Chloe A, a freshman at Manhasset. Where do you think, Vicki, this pressure is coming from? Is it coming from parents? Is it coming from teachers? Is it coming from college admissions? People, is it coming from the students themselves? Academic success, a child's duty to his family. Asian American students consistently outperform their white classmates on standardized tests. an extreme example of the desperation and stress that now surround the college admissions process. How we're putting too much pressure on kids. Anytime we make broad statements homework. about Asian Americans being uniformly successful, it misleads the public. Okay, Mondays it's crew from 4 to 6.30 and then right after I go to volleyball from 7.45 to 9.45. And when it's on season, sometimes I'll, like I play badminton or tennis after school for like a couple hours. So when I'm in the shows, like rehearsals are like every day and then I like get home really late and I have to like eat dinner and then do all my homework and go to sleep. Um, but then I used to just go home and do homework. So I usually practice from 3 to 5, and usually I have like practices, like private practices after school or on like Tuesdays and Saturdays. The other times I'm usually doing my homework. I have crew from like 4 to pretty much about 6.45 to 7, and then um, after that I'll usually take like a class, I'll take like a math class or something. It like takes up my whole day. I'm barely ever home, so it's kind of sad. My grades are straight A's, I guess. Um, I'm currently a straight A student. I'm an A student. <laughs> bees? No. Bees are not good enough. This group of freshmen is just an example of the extreme academic pressure on teenagers nowadays. Their hopes and dreams are reflected in their extracurriculars. And what are they doing this for? We aim for high Ivy Leagues, HYP, MIT, something like that. Um, mid Ivy Leagues as well. So I'm aiming for Ivies, specifically MIT, just because I want to be an engineer. Like, I kind of want to go to NYU and BU. My other brother goes to Columbia, so it's like an Ivy League school and everything, and there's like really high standards in my family. It's like because a lot of Asian parents are like, hey, you should get to yada, 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 and they do a lot just to like make their resume perfect, like perfect, and then that like puts a lot of competition onto us because like I don't really do anything. So we're all just like, struggling a little bit and then the colleges also don't really take that many Asians because we have too many Asians. So I think it starts like you said in freshman year where you really want to come in September of freshman year as motivated as possible to do well in each of your classes and you want to challenge yourself to best to the best of your ability right so not everybody is an honors AP student but you want to try to challenge yourself and do well in each of your classes so you would actually culminate in a nice grade point average to then uh, you know, be able to apply to your dream schools. I, if I want to try to get into the best possible school, what do I need to do to try to achieve that? I give myself a lot of academic pressure and it's also like, again, the people around me getting really good grades and I feel like I won't be as good as them. Is it pressure from their parents themselves? My parents are always like, you need to get into a good college to get a good job and then get a stable life. Don't go entrepreneuring or like waste all your life savings on stocks. <laughs> I guess like when my mom doesn't pressure me, I kind of feel like I have to do it myself. So when she's not there, I kind of have to like fill in for her. According to one of my interviewees, I think I'm under a lot of pressure because I feel like since I'm trying to be so versatile in my extracurriculars, it's really hard to be good at one thing. It's not. Here, they're not telling me to get a, into good colleges, but everyone around me wants to get into a good college, so I feel like I need to live up to that standard. And majority of the others agree with her. I don't know, I, I compare myself to other students, like it's not even my mom anymore, but... <laughs> There's a lot of comparison. My parents compare me to my siblings, then my parents compare me to other of my friends, my cousins, and other relatives. It can ha it's like a double-edged sword, right? Because you hustle, 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 and you try to shoot for the best possible, and then... If I don't get a good grade, gonna mess up my overall grade which is gonna mess up my GPA which is gonna mess up my chances and stuff like that so I kind of always feel that pressure. Before like a couple years ago it's definitely my parents just comparing me to different people wanting me to get better. Um, it's really just like seeing all the other Asian kids getting into all these IVs it's like kind of like an expectation already set. Then I feel like I'm not doing enough to get into the IVs when they're doing so much. 
and then I kind of have to like my parents to my friends to everybody else there's like a lot of pressure to be really like have straight A's and do perfectly on like every test I'm really close with like Asians and then Asians are all like hey I got an A and I'm just like oh I did not get an A so I feel like a lot of kids I sit here with freshmen saying oh I need to take this AP class or that AP class because they're because my friends are doing it and it's not always necessarily the right path so you have to figure out what the right path is for you so it's not only pressure from parents but also from themselves and the system. Does this call for change? I want, don't want to say discrimination, but it's definitely a sort of like survivorship bias-esque thing where it's like, you know, these people, they're all applying and all of their applications are really good, so we can't accept all of them and you just have to take out most of them. I think there's definitely a higher standard because like everybody like automatically thinks like, oh, Asians are so smart. So people see me and they're like, oh, like you're Asian, you're getting into a good school already. You have to really like do even better. It's almost like a default chance that there's just a lower probability that I get into these colleges, like even if they have a really low acceptance rate already. Um, I feel Matt Manhasset is a very, it's a, one of the top schools obviously in New York State and in the country, so that desire to um, reach that top school, whatever it might be, has always been there. So This is the real question. Are what these kids are doing good or bad? Is being too ambitious, good or bad? As a society, do we force unrealistic expectations on children? And, like, it's just, like, not enough to be just smart. You have to do something more than that.